today the harvesting of the salmon. Got a nice snow field here for Sky to play around. It's cold. Getting ready to bring the salmon on totes out of the adult fish pond. Got some high school kids helping out. What an experience. We're at the fish hatchery and we had a great surprise today. We actually get to see them take out some of the salmon. The remaining salmon that will be taken out next Tuesday. Is this your first time doing this? Yeah. Pretty exciting. My hands are numb. I bet. <laughs> That's got to be cold. Still in the pond. My hand is so numb that I can't do <laughs> it. Don't let him go now that he's got it. Okay, hold him. That's a beauty. He just wants to take the bacon. What a treat. Make you want to go to school. <laughs> oh, I am. I'm actually back in school now. <laughs> I was saying, man, I like high school. It's better the second time than the first time. Watch the booth behind you. They got an air force? I got none. Count them, each one? Yep. So the, is that the machine that count them on over here? Yeah. Okay, and then they go on ice. Oh, yeah. Alright, 
Get it up there. down the one that beat will get shot off to oh, the I one see. side that matches their toes I gotcha. and the one that don't beat go into my toes oh. and then the ones that go into their toes they'll take over and they'll measure them and uh, sex them and then they'll chop off chop off the portion of their head put it in the bag and we take the fish oh. the bucks they'll leak and then they'll leak all over the rest of them and that's what the slime is oh that's sperm huh mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> I mean, well, she was giving it to him the nice way. <laughs> <laughs> they have chips in their heads, Diane. Yeah, and so it, it runs through this machine and it counts them. Some of them that don't will be separated. Uh oh. So he's verifying that there's a chip. Sometimes it falses in that machine. So what do you do with an chip? Then we take the snout and send it to the lab and then they see where it came from. Huh. They, uh, it's a tiny like little one or two millimeter wire that goes in their snout when they're moving out. And then uh, there's, a, there's a code on it that tells you what's happening. Yeah, it's like a so we only tag like you know, six percent of these fish. So well, we go to like, go back to Oakland. Tag six percent of the fish, he said. From there, they go out to Bellingham for processing there, and then they'll from there they decide whether they go to stores, to the place, cat food, or food banks. Where do the eggs go? That I don't know. <laughs> sometimes they go to Japan. Sometimes to Japan? Yeah. Wow. I know a lot of other hatcheries, they do this. Chip, it goes to the, the bin that's on the left side of the screen.
they go. Loading them up in the truck. So what do they do with the ones that were tagged? They're gonna cut off the heads, like the snout, uh, everything before the eye. And uh, they're gonna bag it up, they're gonna mark it, uh, whether, what kind of uh, fish it was, like a male or female, the length of the fish. It has a little uh, radio tag in there that's about the size of an exclamation yeah, point. Yeah. Keep uh, a count of how many peepers it wore. Uh, and uh, they send it off to the lab. They retrieve the uh, marker and it tells them everywhere the fish has been. There's not very many that were tagged though. Is that unusual? One in five were tagged. Oh, okay, one in five they do the artificial insemination. That is something we need to check out and record.